Oh, they're there. They're definitely there. They're going to work for some people. She's going to have a Wikifeet page. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today we are joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Bragg. Hello. From Bragg. Oh. Wow. Not even claiming to be from the podcast no, that you started. Team, <laughs> Hold on. I'm a podcast. Like, we're here. You're on the team. We're all a team. We're a team of then other channels, except for... Except for you. Just me. Yeah, uh, what, what do you bring to this team, Jake? Yeah. Hold on. I can leave and you can go through this if you prefer. I haven't read this. <laughs> <laughs> How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Ben? My week was fine. Um, I played Dragon Maids again on Tuesday. Was that... Yeah, no, that, that wasn't covered in the last podcast. It went really well. Tuesday night was really good for me. I finally got to play against some Tour Elements and I built that deck to hard beat Tour Elements. So... Went really well. Um, Jake says I opened cracked, but I opened exactly how that deck is supposed to open. Um, just just open well. Just open a dragon maid and some bestials. There's some bestials. What? And Three then bestials? you two two bestials and you search the third, gotcha. and then it's like cool, no problem, easy yes. Um, just the amount of decks that are so good. Yeah. That aren't here. <laughs> but yeah that worked fine I went, I went X1 then and then I went X1 again today um playing I played Tour Element today so yeah I played you became a meta sheep today a, a Shizu Tour Element went fine um yeah I made some small misplays but it's me learning the deck so it is what it is Bragg what did you do this week? Uh, made the list, drew up some very fancy proxies and they are fancy as fuck proxies yeah where those Aguidos yeah well Aguido Agito, the one yeah. Agito. Uh, the most optimal ratio for tier element is one Agito, so you have to draw, physically draw it at one. You don't need to draw anymore, don't waste any more ink, paper, or <laughs> smudges on hands. I got such smudgy hands, I'm such a terrible handwriter. Ah uh, yeah, so crafting that, I want to do something cuter than just a normal list, like stack Mystic Mine and that kind of something, but outside of that, I've got to learn the basics. So, we're at that stage. I learned on the fly today, and it was good. Like, oh. I kind of had a fundamental understanding of how it worked, and then, like, doing it on the fly, I was like, this seemed complicated at first, but it's easy as fuck. Yeah, it just seems kind of daunting to go in and having two... So if if I mill nuts for you... Yeah. And what, like, what changes on the fly is what I want to get you my head around. You effect. If you think you can play through what you've already set up, then, yeah, you just yeah. don't activate you it. Only use it unless you need to. That's it. Hmm. Pro strats. How about you? Uh, my week. So I still haven't got the entirety of my Ishizu part of the tier element deck, so I'm still playing the Brandon High Spirit. Did you pre-order? No. Yeah, fair enough. I couldn't afford it at the time. So I've gotten seven of them from buying online, and then I plan to buy a display once um, our store actually gets them. Uh, hopefully get what I need from there, or get enough that I can trade and sell and whatever, whatever. Um ideally like it was just a timing thing i wouldn't have committed to buying the display if i'd known that they would have been more available better prices and all that kind of thing but yeah. i'd already said that i would and i feel bad sort of reneging on that yeah um but yes yeah, still playing the uh high spirits version which effectively sets up a lot of the same things but it's just less consistent because you have to open the high spirits and then it doesn't play through as much because it doesn't have a free negate from hand I still want to just play the one copy of Brandon High Spirit, just because if you draw it, it plays around Bestials. Yeah, yeah, that's probably its biggest benefit yeah. in the matchups mm. at the moment, is that if you open the High Spirit or the Instant Fusion, it plays around that. Yeah. Which is good. Because getting Bestialed in that deck hurts a bit. Yeah. And when you're, like, you're Bestialing to stop their Bestial from touching down the board, and you're just like, oh, this is getting a little out of hand. <laughs> yeah, working out when to prevent their Bestials is, like, a big thing. Because, yeah. like... Yeah, it's just going to be there again next yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. it stays in the hand. It's very much like, oh, do I ash this Gamma or do I let it go through? It's yeah. that same sort of interaction. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, um, so I think I went X1 both nights. Uh, yeah, today and uh, last Tuesday. Yeah. Um... And yeah, I've been getting some packs and stuff just trying to get to the end of the cards that I need. So I've now gotten five, six. Six of the bestials. So yep. only got... If you don't have any magnets. I've got two magmut. Oh, is it two now? Two magmut, two druid worm, and one of the other one. Okay. 
So you, you're almost at the optimal ratio. Yeah, I've nearly got everything I need for that. Um, and then bought a few packs before um, went in today. Pulled a Fenrir, which was nice. Um, but saved me having to pay $90 for one of them at least. Um, and then uh, for the packs that I got today, I also got a Spellbound, which will be good at locals because I won't lose to Flunder. Yeah, you cop drawing. You cop having that. Back on the on the Fenrir though, that's like a. It's kind of a little bit of a tease, isn't it? Getting one Fenrir. What's one Fenrir gonna do? You're like, oh, oh one Fenrir. One Fenrir well, doesn't. Still knock. a removal. Yeah, but it's not removal but you again. Want, you want the you want the other one. Two is fine. It's like it's three's a crowd. Yeah, yeah. A lot of lists I've seen have been playing two if they play them at all. Um, I have the amount of times I opened two when I was playing three, I was like frustrating i just want one but the summon effect isn't hard once per turn so if they remove one yes correct you can summon it again however eh. <laughs> <laughs> i counter with man eh. 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 um yeah what else um yeah and then yeah um some master little things just sort of yo-yoing at plat one or something at the moment um it's weird at the moment it's like i'm playing what is effectively the best deck but it does get stale, but at the same time, playing most other things, you're going to get sort of owned anyway, because in that particular format, uh, branded uh, Despia is just the best deck. Um, unless Sword Soul opens, like they go first, they open absolutely cracked, they can't play through. Or Flandries just does Flandries. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, I haven't lost to a Flandries in ages. Yeah. Because I put in Imperms, and I put in Cosmics, so that I could actually deal with that matchup. It's not getting cracked enough, then. No, not enough Spellbounds. Yeah. Oh, please. Oh, if they had Spellbound in there, oh, I'd be so happy. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, on to Master Duel. Hopefully, uh, we will have some changes coming up, because there are some updates that have happened. I haven't even played since the update, either. So, you know, like, ooh, you were over the other night. I'm like, oh, I'm updating it now. This is all good. I come in, the app's closed. I'm like, oh, awesome. sure, hope, sure hope it finished. <laughs> no, nah, had to download the whole thing again, and it was just taking forever. I'm like, this is the only time I'm going to get to play this. Well, yeah, that was a big one, I think, too, because they had a bunch was... of animations and stuff that yeah. updated as well with the new cards and stuff coming in. Um, so, yeah, they updated a bunch of animations. None of them particularly noteworthy. Um, they did add a specific animation to Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief if you pull off the win con. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Sure. Yeah. 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 They get into everything else. So Isn't Bamboozling Gossip Shadow banned? Yeah, yeah, you can still do it without it. It's a, a it mess. Seems it's seems significantly mess. more difficult. A, oh, yeah. You can go into a jewel room with it. <laughs> you got to give the jewel rooms their full experience. <laughs> it's still possible like even in the current meta it's still possible even without all the bullshit that we have um you wouldn't do it but if you do do it you get the benefit of a little animation in master Ball. that's nice um they have added a new feature which is um not as cool as i thought it'd be having read over it now um <laughs> but it's uh team matches but it functions like the ones at yes so you can either oh, okay. do a 3v3 or 5v5 Five's just ridiculous. But Five is a little bit ridiculous. I wonder Can if you each get... play a match. I have to delve into it a little bit more because this is only surface level. But if it works exactly the same as it does in those YCS formats, it's yeah, you just verse your person, and if your team wins, your team wins. So is it on that subject? Would it then? Nah, don't worry. Is this is this Konami opening acknowledging that just use Discord to talk to people? I mean, potentially. Yeah. Because I do not chat, I, isn't there? No. Isn't there? No. no voice chat. Oh, I thought... Oh. I, no, no, not voice chat. Isn't oh. there, like, a little button that you can go, yeah, woo, like, no, is there a preset? No, there's no preset <laughs> things at all. And I love Master Duel for that. Like, it's literally one of my favourite features is that you don't have to talk to the other person at all. I was all. just thinking about on the Ghost Trick thing being, like, the amount of people who are trying to do the thing and they're like, I just want to see the animation, let me combo, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to do the animation, let me combo, bro. Just, me. just one more turn, bro. One more turn. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, so that's one of the new features. Uh, we also have a new pack that's come in, uh, which is called uh, Battle Trajectory. Um, it's not an amazing pack, if I'm honest. Uh, so we get the Scareclaw stuff, which is yep. the start of the Visa, Visa Starfrost um, We're getting lineage. there. Well, that's the thing. It's a really odd time frame that they've done it. Because, like... Yeah, what Visa... the same set? 
Uh, no. V the Vista Star Frost stuff came at the same set as uh, other stuff. <laughs> Yes. The Therians. Therians, yeah. And we don't yeah. have Therions yet. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's weird that they've the... jumped Therions. I feel like Therions would have been the more natural progression. I don't think they've jumped Therions. I think this went parallel to Therions. Yeah, but still, like, I feel like Therions should deserve that place mm. first. And if anything, that'll be a change to the meta. Because at the moment, it's just... Yeah, true. Brandon, 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 Brandon. Flundery! Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Um, but as well as that, we also have uh, Beyond the Pendulum and uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon have yep. been added as well to yep. give... Um, and a bunch of the Performer Power support as well um, has been added in. Um, the the Valiants are in there as well. They don't really help Pendulum, but they're there. They were a, a deck build pack, right? Valiants? Yes. Yes. yes, they were. They came in the same set as Runic that yep. we haven't got yet. Uh-huh. The other meta deck that we should have already. Oh, we're going to go with the pendulum theming of it. Yep, pretty mm -hmm. much. So it'll be Therian and Runix. Yeah, it'll be a good pack. pack. Yeah, it'll be a good pack. Good, good pack to spend my 4,000 gems on. <laughs> um, no exaggeration, Jake. <laughs> I, I know. Um, we have a couple of new accessories. Uh, we have a new icon, Visa Starfrost. You! Which is fine. Uh, and then we have uh, the sleeves, which is uh, one of the valiance things that yep. has like all three of them on it i think it's the fusion i think the fusion has like all three of the characters on it i still don't understand what that archetype does and it I... goes <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it that is all uh we also have some hints on what's coming up as well uh very soon there will be the solo mode for ghost tricks uh eh. um jake jake's, uh, jake's little bit bitching about this all day because i want the gems i want the gems like, actually no it. more it's importantly more importantly than the gems with that they're also adding uh two things in for you to get i don't know whether they're going to be earnable in the solo mode or whether they send them out for purchase at the same time yep but they've got a ghost trick field and a ghost trick icon i just want the one looks man good. yeah i don't know what happened with that i Adolfo just one. Want, I, I just don't think it exists it was on there I just we don't, saw it! I just don't think it exists, man. I don't know why they didn't launch it. It looked I really cool. I just want my cake. I need it too. Is it... The... Shut the fuck up. Um, I can't think of anything thematical that they can release it with either. Like, maybe Christmas? Maybe? It's like a super loose connection. But, like, otherwise they're just going to have to drop it randomly one day and be like, Hey! Thanks, Cake! Cause they're, yeah, they're all because they're all yeah, cake they're, sweets, yeah. They're, they're all, all sweets. treats, yeah, but they're not candy sweets, so it didn't Is work. Because Ghost Trick should have been fucking Halloween. Who okay. cake? No, none of them are specifically Christmas treats. No, <gasps> new Madolce support. <laughs> Madolce <laughs> peppermint. <laughs> oh, no, Madolce Christmas pudding sesor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I yeah, that. I don't know when we're getting that or if we're getting that, but it would be nice if we actually got it. Um. We also have some news of, well, moving away from Master Duel. Um, wait, no, sorry, not moving away from Master Duel. One other hint of what we have coming up. Uh, the Anti-Spell Festival is the next festival. No spell helps? No spell. Okay. Only trap. Maybe that's why they didn't launch Renix. <laughs> <laughs> Here's this spell deck. Now only play traps. <laughs> Can't wait to play Paleo. Or yeah. just not play it at all, because I don't play any of them. Yeah, I started skipping them. I liked them the first few times. Like, I'll play it. <sighs> don't have the time, man. It takes so much time out of your day. Does it? Yeah, it's tough. Especially when I feel like my brain power should be going to, you know, more relevant formats of Yu-Gi-Oh. Even though... But I just have yeah. other things to do, you know? Like, jobs or... Uh, I sports to do? Poor people. <laughs> sports. Um, but anyway, moving away from Master Ball, uh, we have some news on the secret utility box, uh, which is due for the release in the OCG, as far as I can work out. Are we about to December. spoil the secret? What? No, no. Konami said it's a secret, and you're about to just tell everyone? Is this this the, is that this is this the December set they usually do? Like as a whole, like it, it's a special product. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where we've gotten weird shit before. Yeah. Yes. So we have a choice of two special uh, card cases and dice. Um, I can't really work out what the designs are meant to be alluring to, but we have a sort of purpley blue one well, that looks with like the thing a that, um, green dice with uh, some weird icon on it. That looks like the thing that the Shadow Monarch's holding down there. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like the um, dark sphere that um, Caius is sending out. And that weird green die. 
Yeah, I can't work out what this icon is meant to be for. It yeah. kind of looks like a cyber angel, but not really. My brain's telling me that I know what this is, but my brain's also telling me I don't know what it is. I can just send you the thing. No, I'm putting in the Discord. That very photo, I'm going to put in the Discord. Someone tell us what the hell this diamond is. <laughs> uh, but then the other one is sort of a uh, reddish purplish box uh, with what looks like crosshairs on it and mm -hmm. sort of has like a vampire motif. And then we have an orange dice with a dragon. That's. No, that dragon looks very familiar. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> <laughs> what? This it looks like it the looks game's like. Yeah. Oh. If that if that dies blue, they can sue. <laughs> That's not looking like the D D logo. <laughs> yeah, oh, true. To yeah, an extent. Yeah. 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 What's this logo? Maybe. This is a lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as well as that, in the secret utility box, we have a choice of two uh, card protector sleeves, uh, of which there are packets of a hundred. Uh, we have Zeus, or we have this thing, whose name I always forget. No, oh, it's cock. Oh yeah, that. They're track. really peddling this out because clearly they've got feet in the photo. Exactly. That's that's what I was getting at. It's got feet in the photo. Not prominent enough. I don't know. Oh, they're there. They're definitely there. They're going to work for some people. She's going to have a wiki feet page, but she's not going to be like <laughs> immediately perverted. Uh, we also have a field center for each of them. Uh, both look really cool, and we get that icon again. Um, what is it? I don't really know. It must be some cyberverse shit. Well, what's in the secret utility box again? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Let's look at the contents. Oh well, let's. It's supposed to Maybe be a it's secret, a secret. But Jake's <laughs> spoiling all of it. Konami spoiled it first. This is public information, Ben. Widely available. Um, Are you on Konami's website? Hmm? Are you on Konami's website? Obviously. Ignore the Ready for Duel logo down the bottom. Um, and then, yeah, this icon, which, again, no idea what it is. But both look pretty cool. Yeah, um, we'll it depends on how much actually comes over to the TCGs to whether we see anything like this. We yeah. probably won't. Oh, yeah, we no, never no. see any. No, no, yeah, every because I mean every set that we've ever had of that, there's always had good cards. We just get the good cards like yeah, later, end or never. Just never good cards. Because um, this is what the Sky Striker chick was. Uh, the Sky Striker correct, yes, card was in last year, and they oh. said we waited a whole year to get Magnificent Mavens. Oh, Jesus Christ, Mavens, Ben. Mavens? No, yeah. It's not about women. Yeah. Women. Mavens is probably the first. Is Mavens like the first product we've ever gotten that's like. A couple booster packs and some sleeves. Oh, it's every turn. We don't often get sleeves. Yeah. Sleeves is like a new addition to additional product. They love throwing a dice in. Like, yeah. they fucking love putting a dice in and then making a super exclusive dice so that people are like, oh, I want that one. Or printing everything in Platinum and giving you a play mat. <laughs> um, but as well as that, we have some more news of the secret utility box. Spoilers ahead. Uh, so we have uh, Rocket Coder. Uh, basically, <laughs> it's like uh, Micro Coder and stuff that it can be used from hand for both uh, Talker Monsters and Rocket Monsters. Um, Talker Monsters? Talk. Talker. What the fuck is that? Is it a talk? Talk, yeah. Talk. Okay. Sure. Talk about talk. 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 It's too much talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get front wheels on the ground. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, can be used from hand for those two things, and then if you happen to use it from field for a borrow monster specifically, um, you can use a dark monster from your hand as material as well. Okay. So if you summon it off, like, quick launch and stuff, it can still get some utility from your hand. Well. And, like, borrow will have a link 2 and a link 3, as well as the link 4s, and a link 5. They just don't have a link 1 yet, technically. Yeah, it's Striker Dragon's not a yeah. moral monster. It would have been so easy for them to do that too. Yeah. Like they could have just called a Bottle Striker Dragon, and they just like no. Like every other Link One is like directly tied to their archetype, where Striker Dragon's like eh, Striker Dragon's so here. good though. Like God's on the fucking ban list. Are you saying that the other Link Ones aren't? Like you look, there's very few not broken Link Ones. Claire and Rushka. That was one of the first ones we had, and at the time it had its utility. Main phase two. Anyway, what's next? Uh, next, we have uh, a spell that doesn't seem to tie into any of the archetypes that I have before. Um, and it's not even strictly speaking... Oh, no, sorry, I'll take that back. I was going to say it's not strictly linked to any archetype, but it is because the first line of text is this card is always treated as a Galio, Galaxy Ice card. Ah, oh, that's shit. Um, so, basically, it reborns two monsters from the grave, immediately exes some of them. 
Um, and then for the rest of the turn, you can only special summon one non XZ monster, um, but you can XZ summon as many times as you'd like. Zeus, baby. So having a monster reborn that also XZs is pretty good. Sure and enough. being that it is a Galaxy Eyes card, it is searchable. Yeah. I guess, but like. Eh. It's cool. Like, none it's, of. You gotta like, use it to make a Zeus. To be honest, this is the only. Well, these two are the only, like, new cards from like the you know how the selection five gave like these archetypes new cards but none of them were linked to the archetype and all of them were kind of garbage yes the secret utility box is very different to that in that the cards are decent and linked to the archetype okay i like it okay i'm not in love with it but i like it um uh, so moving on to more important news uh obviously we were here last week when we were halfway through ycs pasadena um, and we now have the full scope of results. Um, I don't have the full scope with me. Anyone but who I said we weren't going into a tier zero format is an idiot. Yeah, look, there's always going to be a heavy swing. Did, did yeah, a lot of people were like, you can't always expect the OCG to translate over. The OCG doesn't normally translate. Which proceed to fucking see 27 out of 32, is it? Or 26 out of 32. It is indeed, yes. It's just those two, sets are, those two archetypes of cards just take up so much room in that deck that there's no variance in it, so therefore that deck's just going to be the best deck. The variance is how many bestials do you play? Yeah, and like it and was always kind of it was always going to kind of be this like to like I think just the different card pools like a uh, maxi and whatever. Yeah, like that can influence every other deck, but this is just this is too many slots. Like it's just too many cards that are good. Yeah. The other thing that's kind of funny is that, like, if you boil it down to what tier does, it doesn't set up mad floodgates, it doesn't, like, hand rip, it doesn't do any of the bonkers shit. It's just super consistent at putting stuff in the bin and then putting stuff back. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't like, really care what you do to it. Like, they go, oh, you negated that? Okay, I'm just going to do the other thing I can do. Or, and then you can find ways to put damage on board as well. The cute it's thing is, day. when you start dancing with the fucking... Medoras and shit. And you're just like, are oh, you doing this? Pull back. Mm. It's like, that's when it starts to get really cute, and I think that's where it gets unfair. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably one of its biggest strengths, actually, is like, typically speaking, a lot of the, um, like, roguish decks have a lot of play in their graveyard. Yeah. So their ability to be like, oh, you need this to be in the bin, let's not like have it, goes, it there. Yeah. yeah um and yeah then there's obviously the, the counter swings with the meta and one of the other things is too like in previous tier zero formats there was never a direct counter archetype to what was the best deck like there wasn't yes. a direct counter to spiral yeah but you've got best deals that have just come out and they are like by all rights a direct counter however you just put the fucking best deals in your ter elements list and then you prepared for the mirror yeah yeah, look, the mirror is going to be interesting, and I'm looking forward to actually being able to practice with my proper deck once I get it, because it's going to be it's going to be a thing. It's just going to be like how how many times can you dance around your opponent until eventually they have no way of stopping you when you resolve a fusion spell. Yeah, that's that's going to be it. So, uh, yeah, back to the top 32 breakdown. So, as Ben said, uh, 26 Ishizu tier element, um, 3 sprite, 1 was pure, 2 with bestial engines, yep. uh, and th 3 Flawandery. Alright. So, Exorcista still not making the top cut, um, as I said to brag off camera before. I think maybe it's just A, they haven't been opening all that well, B, the yeah. Ishizu stuff might be getting to a point where they're overpowering the... Yeah. Like... There's only so much two XZ summons can do. Mm. Yeah, because there's only three vanishes, and that doesn't really do anything against them. Yeah. But it's just that they can kind of turbo into Necro Valley and not care. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, and then... But um, you said three Sprite, right? I did. Look, this is a tier zero format, and they they didn't hit Sprite enough. Three Sprite's too many. <laughs> 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 This makes the sense, man. <laughs> so, and that's it's the thing. How good would it be if we sense. had full? If we had that version of Sprite, yeah, there could be a chance. We could, maybe not. Probably. Well, not, the but... funny thing is that Mudora again solves that problem. They go Ronin Toad effect. It's like no, <laughs> back to deck. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think it does anything. I, I, it probably would still be the same three, but they would at least have a better chance in the finals unless yeah. if they get paired against each other. Um, and then, yeah, the top four was like one sprite, three tier Ishizu. So is this the one uh, Poncho guy one? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiny one. Yeah. Very, and his his build was good. His his he was really well thought out. I liked his um deck profile. It was good. And the rest of the decks were fine. Yeah, like not a huge amount of variance. It's like, oh, do you play Fenrir? Do you play, um, like, win in time cards? All that kind of nonsense. Yeah, it's like relatively solved. Do you, do you think there's any sp- any spice that tops Dormant tonight? Mm. Honestly, I haven't watched Dormant at all. The bits it... that I've watched of it, there really isn't that much spice. Like, they're all... But at the same time, you're probably not going to see the spice until right at the end anyway, because they're not going to feature a lot of those top players until right towards the end. Uh, yeah. That's typically the way they go. Like, they yeah. had the YCS winner. He was playing Tira Shizu. I can't remember what he was versing. Um, they were at the very start. Um, Zombies. <laughs> no. No goth women for us at Dortmund. <sighs> The Germans are too sensible for goth. Even though... Anyway. I was, I was, I was about to go into a, a whole QI, a QI point. It's not worth it. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Dortmund actually goes, whether there is a bit of um, like anti-format kind of cards slipping in there um, to sort of beat the mirror. Well, I think, yeah, I was going to say, the issue is figuring out how that works in the mirror. Mm. And it's... I think the play is you try and make a Dweller before activating a monster effect on field. Like, you want to, like, normal summon something. Oh, yeah, get a Dweller wanna, out like, so that, like, yeah, your opponent can't start and like, Make stuff. a Dweller. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah. And that'll come into, like, more technical play once we get to it. Yeah. If you can make a Dweller first, make the fucking Dweller first. How do you get to Inherent Summons without activating a flight? How do you get the Inherent Summons for it, though? Well, it's only on field activations of the problem. No, oh, true. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you just go nuts with um, yeah. making my dragon and... Yeah. yeah. Or your knight, knight sword serpent. <laughs> that involves you milling it. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. At which okay. point you're in maybe some problems. That's all right. You just open it and send it off of she then. Okay, sure. Open the just, night just open it. Um, But anyway, um, we have the uh, full set breakdown of Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. <laughs> and I say that as a Crystal Beast player. <laughs> Advanced Crystal Beast. Yeah, so we have uh, the Royal Straight cards, like the Arcane, Jack, whatever, blah, 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 yeah. blah. They're getting reprinted. Uh, I've got the Advanced Crystal Beast getting reprinted. Um, some Diner cards, which Is I've there a hollow version before. of Conclave yet? Is that the same one? The that... continuous trap. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't seen it. Uh, yet. I didn't see it in the list, and that's so ridiculous. Uh, we've got the ninja. Some more ninja cards. I think for that um, mosquito card that we're talking about, the rank two. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. That is a ninja card. Um, we've got some performer pal stuff. No comment. Um, the there was an archetype that came out. I think it was in a battles of the legend as well. The um, the star archetype was like a bunch of high level warriors yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. They get some more cards. That was in like the first, the second brothers of legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some more Amazonas cards, including Amazonas Hot Springs, if you're that kind of weeb. Um, <laughs> G-Golem gets their yep. first printing, which is uh, a Vrains archetype. It's like Earth Cybers. Um, I don't know if they actually do anything. No. <laughs> Good. Um, some Blackwing cards get reprinted as well. Um, and some of the older um, Crystal Beast stuff gets like Hollow Prints. Um, so you'd be able to get like an Ultra... Um, is it Topaz Turtle? Topaz, Topaz, yeah. not. Yeah, the turtle bumps all right. She's just made them secrets of bastards. Um, well, the advanced ones. The advanced ones got the secret slot. Oh wait, uh, Hollow Rainbow Bridge isn't the worst actually. Yeah, that's a, that's. Should have made it a secret one. rare because that card is amazing. Um, a bunch of the stuff from Toon Chaos got reprinted as well. So yeah. uh, Toon BLS, Toon Harpy Lady. I, I was thinking about Toon Harpy Lady the other day. It's an inherent summon, right? And if you control a field spell, pops a spell and trap. Maybe. I thought it's if you control two more. Yeah, because sure. well, we've definitely talked about it before. Here we go. Two. I'm pretty sure it's just if you control the field spell. Uh, but Chaos Creator, Chaos Stalus, uh, Valkyria, Chaos Space all get reprints as well. Yeah. Um, Diddy Crow getting another Ultra Print. Uh, Edgem Chain and uh, Fry for Patchwork also getting preprints. Couldn't they have given it a secret? Idiots. What, Edgem Chain? No, the um, the Diddy Crow. 
Yeah, it would have been nice and secret. It's just they always is stop. A speed duel secret rare, or is it a speed duel super rare? Super, I think. Okay. Oh no! It, well, the it an ultra. common and ultra. Okay. Yeah, and it was, and the ultra was bendy because it was in the promo stocks uh, they did. Okay. So, so yeah, the the cards from those boxes are good, but then the promos they chucked in in the little plastic was just a normal print run. Okay. And they suck. Um, you can destroy. Um, oh, I you control two world. Oh, it's two more specifically. Oh, that's yeah. That's annoying. Oh, control another two monster as well. Jeez. Yeah. Not worth Man, it. Man. Two harpy lady. You just. Threats. Yeah, it, it could have been so good as like a rogue, like spell and trap removal. We'll give it three it. restrictions. Eudora retrain, we give it three effects. <laughs> <laughs> um, I assumed that they would be reprinting all of the live twin stuff in this set. They're not just the two, the link twos. Yeah. Just do, those. Do they slot any of those in the The Link 2s are all that really needed to be reprinted. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but like if you're going to do just the Link 2s, you might as well preprint it all. Yeah. Is Sunny and Mavens? Am I, was I dreaming that? Uh, yeah. yeah. No. Oh, must have been dreaming. It was in the tins. Yeah, it was in Mega Tins. Ah. <laughs> uh, but then, um, if you weren't thinking any of this set is good enough, which I don't think any of you were, um, they've whacked in some Starlights. Nine Starlights. Yes. So we oh. have Yadagarasu. Uh, Blackwing Armor Master, big unaffected level 10 yep, yep, yep. body dude. When you mentioned access code, did you mention it? I wasn't listening. I've it hasn't said got, access code yet, but far. access code talker. Spoiler! Um, oh, I thought you would have done it when... Because like, access code's way up there. He's using photos. I'm, I'm going through the list. Yeah, and you would have already gone past access code. Oh, I didn't see that bit of it. Access code. Right. Access code, yep. Yeah. Uh, Super Poly. That'll be a really nice Starlight Rare, but at the same time, there's ultis floating around, so, you know. What would look better? The secret. <laughs> oh, what, like the Joey's World secret? Yeah. Yeah, Joey's World, yeah. That did look nice. It's the third no, copy no, of... No, run, run Mega Pack Yellow one. Yes. That's no, secret. It's all the same shit. That's what I've got. Yeah. I've got one of those and two ultis, because I can't remember where I put my third. Ulti's just dark. I like that, though. For Super Poly, I think it's thematic. Okay. It's evil card, therefore dark. You want us, you want us to get two darks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the last five are the pieces of Exodia. It's such a random like All justification for some of this. Of stuff. I'm kinda keen to crack a box of this and just hope my first starlight pull is like left leg. <laughs> <laughs> what, no head? Nah, no head. No head. No head. Or leg. No head. <laughs> Do you think they'll be the same? We are children. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they'll be the same, like, every second box has one sort of thing? Every second case? Oh, second case. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it'd probably be something like that. Although, they were pretty liberal with, like, oh, they didn't do an Astral. They've oh, given up on Astral. idiots. Increase the value of the other two. Even though they're which is worthless. Which is good for um, Leviathan, because that's worth nothing. <laughs> yep. I kind of want that card. I think Lewis might still have one. It was like five hundred dollars at first. Now it's like eighty bucks. <laughs> yeah, eighty dollars if. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's an amazing set. Like it's cool for some reprints and stuff um, if you're chasing those. But like, I wouldn't be diving into the set unless like you really want to pull a Starlight. Um, if you need the cards that are in it, by all means, packs yeah, some packs. Yeah, like I wouldn't go nuts on it. Is what I'm saying. I just, just want the Doodle Beasts. Yeah. Oh but yeah. That's gonna cost oh, me yeah. like twenty bucks for all of them, and it's like. Sure. Oh, and then it can play dinos. I just want to have them, so I can act like that kid. And ben go, wants Look at my doodle beasts. <laughs> ben. <laughs> yeah, that's where that's going. <laughs> yep. Okay. I was going to make a joke, but I think what you did was funnier, so I'm going to leave it. Um, we have some more news on the trap trick structure deck. Uh, we get three new cards. Uh, we get another level four, um, which when it's normal summon adds their card that I'll announce later. Do they even have the room for this shit? They keep giving them... They've got so many monsters. Like, Look, remember when they were like, Trap Trick is meta. I don't remember that. Then five <laughs> years later they're like, this hasn't been meta in five years. Let's give them another card. Actually, no, sorry, they gave them Reflesia in the middle. I'm telling lies. Yeah, yeah. but Reflesia was never... A tra yeah. that, was, that wasn't Trap Tricks. Fucking stupid bloody pens. <laughs> 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 uh, what if we just gave any level 4 deck the ability to activate a trap hole from deck yes 
Sounds good. Uh, so then, yeah, if it's normal summon, search is a card that I'll announce in a minute. Uh, and if it's special summon, you can target opponent's uh, special summon monster, banish it, and if you do during the next standby phase, it comes back. Um, no, sorry, not it. Just any banished monster they have. They can pick a different banished if oh, they wish. Oh, cool. So... Um, which I think ties into another card, which I'll announce in a second. Uh, so that's a new level 4. Uh, they get a draw spell. Um, so discard a level 4 insect or plant or one normal trap card uh, and draw two cards. Is that a spell? Yeah. So does it discard a normal trap card, draw two cards? Uh, yes, or a, pl- a level 4 plant or insect. This is Predator Plants. Uh, this, no, this is uh, support <laughs> for uh, Paleozoic. It's support for a lot of different decks. It's actually just a nice generic card. Yeah, that's a good card. Yeah. And it's a structure uh, deck. You can send the exchange of spirit. I'm buying three of the structure deck. Uh, it also has a second effect, if that wasn't good enough. Uh, banish this card from Grave, target one of your banished level 4 insect or earth, oh, or plant monsters, or one of your banished normal traps. Ooh. Put it to the bottom of your deck. This is a mm. support. It's actually just a very good generic card, I think. Like, and I've said this for a while, every type should just have a good generic draw spell. Discard trap. Yes. No. Yes. Wait, draw two? No. Uh, draw two. Yeah. No, that's bad for you, yeah. What? Draw spells? Yes. Why not? Because the same thing goes in every single deck. And then if you print something that's really busted, you need to ban something. Drawing is so bad, we'd rather send to grave. Oh okay. yeah, sure. 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 We can have draw five. And also, we've gotten to a point where at least that's half of the doing. archetypes, or uh, half of the types have their own draw spell yeah it's just like if you give something like this to dragons it's absurd dragons already have draw spells yeah they have level draws they have they, they mean, yeah they have yeah they have so like they have they draw have spells but they're cards are masters. consonants they have their own foolish yeah, yeah. burial they have fucking trade in they've dragons already have this trade-ins stuff for level eight. Oh no cards of consonants for tuners yeah tuna dragons tuna dragons you're right because for so blue eyes, that's a blue eyes card. I mean, it's best in blue eyes, sure, but like. No, I think it's... exclusively it's only blue eyes. No, I'm just gonna ran it. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, fuck you, Ben. Can uh, rockets <laughs> run it? Hmm. Probably, yeah, technically. I mean, yeah, they could rockets run it. Synchron. But I mean, they don't need to. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, last card, and it's the card that uh, the level four searches, which is their field spell, Trap Trick Orchard. Uh, so it gives them an extra normal summon. Um, of course and, it does. And then. The first time any insect or plant will be destroyed, it's not destroyed. Uh, and then uh, during your turn, you can banish a oh, yeah, banish a monster you control, special summon a trap tricks from hand or grave. And then that's it, just three effects. Doesn't search. This card sucks. Extra normal summon. What kind of field spells this? Uh, I feel like they'd just rather play Mystic Mine. Yeah. I mean, get the extra normal summon. Or Necro decent. Valley. I'll just play Set Rotation and do all of it. That's it. Actually, this card's really good because you can play it one copy in the deck to <laughs> use with set rotation. Yeah, true. Uh, and then there was a V jump that was announced not too long ago. Uh, we only got the artwork, which was the cool uh, sort of sheep in the grass oh, looking yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, and it turns out that that's just trap trick support as well. Um, so it's called Sacred Sheep Tree Baromet. Uh, so detaches a car uh, material, uh, targets a normal trap in the graveyard, places it on the bottom of the deck, and then you draw one. Uh, and then if a normal trap is activated, it detaches a material and uh, can special... Uh, hang on. Two level fours. Detach material from a monster you control. Yeah, yeah. Two plus level fours. So you can have multiple material on it. Um, so detach uh, from an, and detach a material from a monster you control. It doesn't have to be it. And then uh, special summon a level four monster from hand. Okay. It's kind of cool. Uh, if nothing else, I will be getting one purely because the artwork is very cute. So it gets a V-Jump. We're not getting this for 18 years. They've been good with the V jumps. We'll get magnificent we get them. It'll too. be common, but we'll get them. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Um, <laughs> Got him. Moving on to stuff that we won't be getting for ages. OTS twenty one's been announced. Fuck me. There's a lot yeah, of stuff we physically haven't gotten twenty yet. Yes, and the one that we're getting in this month is nineteen. Yes. Uh. Uh, and this one, Ben might. This is a big caveat. Might be happy about. No, it's got something. That- I don't like. No, it's, it's, all, it's all meta. That's why I don't like it. It's all meta. Oh, God damn it. Oops, all meta. But anyway, uh, in the blurb, they uh, mention Ultimate Rares. Uh, each represents one of the major tournament strategies in the 2022-23 dueling season. Sprite, Element, and Kashatri. 
Oh, so we didn't get a Flanderese one? No. The second best deck in the format? It's Rogue. Second best deck in the format? Rogue. So it's Sprite. Kashira hasn't done shit. No, it hasn't. I mean, it's made a ultra $90. Imagine if it's not Fenrir. Yeah, I can imagine them just being imagine like, it's Haha, Shangri-La. It's, it's <laughs> gonna be fucking Shangri-La. It has to be Shangri-La, surely. They're gonna do Shangri-La, it's like, imagine. That or they'll do, Fenrir. like, Unicorn, or one that's not currently seen uh. play. Unicorn will see play. It has to be Shangri-La. That and, like, it's just too important of a deck and it got a shitty printing. And it kind of lo- would look cool. It would look nice. I can't see them doing it, but... The like, others will probably be, like, Kit Kalos and something. Yeah. Yeah, so my predictions of these will be uh, Kit Kalos, uh, Jet, and may- either Shangri-La if they're feeling funny, or Fenrir, because, just because it's seeing the most play at the moment. I think we might see Sprite Elf. Because you I can not play it in more things. Did I not say You said Jet. Jet. Oh, well, I don't know why I said Jet. I meant Elf. Jet will be a okay. super, right? Jet already is a super. Yeah, so it will be a super. <laughs> it already is a super. <laughs> 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 anyway. Imagine. It'd be nice if they did Merlin in super. They will. It'll be Merlin in super. You'll get probably red and carrot in super. Actually, Screams in super would be nice too. But I can't see them printing something that's come out so soon. Like, yeah. they might do... They might do... Dude, this isn't coming, coming so out for we're like We're talking three months. monsters, right? You can waste the spell on there, yeah? Uh, that is a good question. Do they have a release date on this little blurb? Um, I've lost the blurb. There it is. Uh, no. Ah, damn. Yeah, I no, know. Literally just the teaser thing. Um, so, so, we move on to some podcast questions. Um, what time um, is it? It's sounding as though you may need to leave. Uh, uh, 4.56. Uh, there aren't too many questions, if that's helpful. Get in, get in here for the podcast questions. Tag out with Bragg. Um, okay. Wish me luck with my Hooper. Super sub. Bragg's gonna go play Pokemon Go. Every day. Bragg, come back. Oh, go, Sebastian. Switch is going to the door. Welcome, Seb. <laughs> hey. Welcome to the questions part. <laughs> Thanks for having me. How was your week in Yu Gi Oh? Good, what I uh, went 2 1 with Zodiac going second. You also. With <laughs> Zeus Turbo. Yeah. Zeus Turbo. Did you play Tuesday night? No. Okay. How fun. <laughs> ah, so, um, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first question this week comes to us from Six Scythe Six. Um, he has a question with a follow-up. Uh, his question is, have you ever sat out of a format, and for what reason? Um, and the follow-up is, how do you justify your decision to yourself? I actually think it's good that we got Seb on yeah. this question, because he's the only one that sits out of any format. <laughs> Like, Bragg buys all the product, he just never plays. <laughs> Valid. Um, well, I guess the last format I sat out of, this format I'm playing, like, every other locals, whatever, just because I wanted to play Magic. Yeah, you strike a linkage. Yeah. But mm. then I just get my raid banished, and it's like, cool. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I've never sat out of format since I got back into the game. I just kind of always play. Mm. Have I sat out of format? No trying to think of back when like i didn't have the necessary need to play every single locals but even then no i guess yeah i can't think of a format that i've like intentionally sat out of yeah yeah there's been formats that i didn't buy into and i've just played the deck that i had yeah yeah true that was me like what end of last year and then that was because i was sitting there like it's okay. I'm mean, gonna have Sword Soul and Flunderies in like two weeks. <laughs> I was just counting down until that set released. <laughs> Even then, you didn't play as much Sword Soul as you did Flunder. Yeah, but I still topped a regional Sword Soul. Because <laughs> it was incredibly easy to play. Sword Soul is so brain dead. It's really linear. It like it only gets complicated if you get hand Back then, it was times. even more linear. Oh yeah, it's just it like, how like... quickly can I get to my Protoss? <laughs> exactly. Protoss, Cold Dark, Protoss, Cold Dark, Protoss, Cold Dark. Did I win? Yes? Okay, sure. Uh, oh no, they're, play- they're playing Eldritch at Game 2, Cold Light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, Seb's really the only one who's sat out of formats. Um, and even then, it's just because he was doing something else. Yeah. Um, like, a lot of people are sitting out of this format, and in this particular country, I don't understand why. Like, we've got the first YCS that we've actually had of our own YCS for three years I think there's a lot of people that are like concerned that the ban list will happen before I'm starting to get a little bit concerned that we're going to get a ban list like right before and just get the middle finger from Konami 
Because I think they're going to drop that ban list as soon as they feel they can. Yeah. And I think that's going to be before YCS Sydney. What was the date of our most recent one? Was it the 1st of October? No, it wasn't the 1st of October. Hmm. I think it was like 15th of October? No? 15th of September? Well, the last time we had a YCS, they did it the day after, right? Yeah, the, I think the last two, we've had it like within the next two weeks after. We're normally the last YCS of the format. Mm-hmm. Jake's down a thousand miles staring. I think we're getting a ban list before this YCS. Effective from the 3rd of the 10th. 3rd of the 10th, okay. Not it okay. would be super close. Like, with if, they're, if it, they are doing three months without saying three months, yeah. it would be literally the week of our YCS. It, mm-hmm. it depends how bad Dortmund is, and if it's bad, I think we're going to get an emergency ban list. I'd prefer an emergency ban list now yeah, than, like, a week or two out. Yeah. I think a week or two out is up... not really an emergency ban list. It's the ban list. If we get yeah. one now, it's an emergency ban list. And, yeah. like, yeah, I think... The other thing if... that I don't fully, like, gel with is, like... And I know that you can't compare the two, but OCG have had it as is for that time. Like, that's just their time. They also, like, do the set three months. We're doing a ban list every three months. And it's like, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm concerned with, like, the amount that I've put into that deck. That yeah. It's like, I'm not going to get time to play it anymore. Because, like, it already got delayed in Australia, so we're already operating on, like, a shorter schedule. It's just starting to concern me. That's my concerns of the format. Hmm. Uh, next question is also from 6R6. Uh, what is the best tape to use when packaging cards for postage? Kmart tape. <laughs> um, I've used painter's tape before. Yeah. Um, it doesn't oh. leave like a massive residue. It's easy enough to take off, but it does the job in keeping the top of the thing sealed. Um, mm-hmm. Some people go bonkers with tape, and it's really obnoxious. Oh, it annoys me a lot. Yeah. yeah. You worry you're going to damage that. the card just trying to get yeah. the tape off. Oh. Ugh. Yep. We'll need to do a backup in a minute. Um, I had something saved away, and I forgot to sort of go through it. Um, so, uh, next question. Wait, do we have another question? Do we have another question, Jake? I don't know if we do. You've led us down this path. No. I have another question. Ha uh-huh. ha. Another question. Uh, question comes from Blunt's all day. I, knew, I thought um, Blunt's all day had a question. I was like, you said a lot in that questions just, channel. I, well, that's the thing. People Brag keep off. putting things that aren't questions in our question channel. It's very hard to read. No, no that's fine. It's you just know? people answering the questions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. But then you can't find the other questions because there's a sea of text. Yeah, everyone, true. okay, everyone needs to do everyone what Six to... Six does and put his questions in a box. So I don't know how he put... does that. There you are. Yeah, yeah, ask him. Uh, six six, <laughs> tell everybody question. how to do the same format of questions as you so that we can actually find these fucking things he says we but it's just him so what's it's Blunt's a, all day it's, a, a, it's a royal we <laughs> Blunt's all day asks my 10 year old nephew has gotten way into Yu-Gi-Oh and has asked for some cards for Christmas what would you say uh, what set would you buy um, a moderately new player uh, three Malvern uh, three Maven boxes uh, three Albaz structure and a few tins, um, or any other recommendations. Um, well, this ties in quite nicely to the thing that I forgot to announce earlier. Um, so you could buy him the Crystal Beast thing, and he could play G Golems and not go well. Or you could buy him three of the upcoming Dark World structure, of which we have more news. <laughs> great tie-in, Jake. It's a great segue. Yes, I thought it was. Uh, so we have some more breakdown as to what's actually going to be in there um so uh we get some re like obviously we get all the new stuff uh reprints we get uh graffa uh rainbow uh gold brow uh dark world lightning card destruction deck devastation virus uh paleozoic um dynamicious yep uh and skill drain hmm. oh Makes sense. None of them, other than the fusion activate on board. So, yeah. so don't buy him three of those <laughs> once all day. Uh, what you want to do? I think you genuinely maybe consider getting three crystal be structure decks because of the reprint. Because of the ash and blossoms. Traps. Yeah, that's Bells, true. There are decent features yeah, in that one. There's got there's some good hand traps in there, and then buy mega tins and see if they can get flounderies. <laughs> well, how much was he getting? Was he getting three boxes of mavens? Because that's like. 
that's expensive. Yeah, and you could get like two well, it's structures like 120, for one. But he seems to be wanting to spend a fair bit because even if when he was buying yeah. the three structured decks, he was also going to buy him like a tin or two. Yeah, so I'd say seems, like the important thing is here we need to know the budget. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the other thing you could do as well is just pre-con him a deck and like sleeve it up for him and nah, like, buy three crystal be structured x and just make him watch gx <laughs> that, that is torture yes. ben by the that end of gx you'll be torture. like it's my dope ass dagger <laughs> <laughs> imagine it's my amber mammoth <laughs> 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 oh. can you get um is mystic mind or dweller in the tins no no neither of them are anywhere near tin reprints <laughs> actually they've only ever done the one reprint of um mystic mine from recollection gold. i think it's only been did they do a gold yeah they and do a, a gold mega tin reprint yeah, yeah the, well that's the oh, was that's the, the one i was thinking of go oh, three prints yeah well i couldn't remember the gold one yeah yes you can do gold mystic mine i would be so angry Etched like gold, mystic, gold mine. mystic mine <laughs> a moment um so yeah that does conclude us for questions um which i believe will conclude us for today thank you all very much for watching uh as i mentioned feel free to join our discord if you are listening to us on uh streaming apps feel free to favorite us follow us uh if you're watching us on youtube like and subscribe leave us a comment uh and we'll catch you all next week peace bye